a patient will come in with what looks like a typical pneumonia, something that we might treat with antibiotics. And instead, what we end up with is trying to treat them with antibiotics, and they end up in the intensive care unit, essentially drowning on dry land. We do treat them with antibiotics in case there's a coincident infection because of many of these patients, their immune systems, their lung immune systems that would normally treat infection are compromised because of the electronic cigarette use. We know that electronic cigarette use itself compromises the lungs, compromises the immune system. So then when something else happens, in this case, some bad product, the body is defenseless. <laughs> We're talking about what the components are in electronic cigarettes, and it turns out it's a toxic mix of chemicals, everything from propylene glycol, heavy metals, carcinogens, high doses of nicotine itself, as well as combined with a very strong acid. The acid plays a crucial role in the design of these products to lower the pH, making them more acidic, creating a nicotine salt, which instead of the body saying, ooh, this is something that's a potential poison, and halting the inhalation, the brain says, give me more. When I first saw an adolescent with respiratory symptoms who stopped being able to play his sport, um, I felt a little bit helpless. I didn't know what was going on. I sent him to the pulmonologist, and what we found was a restrictive lung disease. That rarely happens in teenagers. So I knew something was happening there, and I knew something different was happening there. And when I asked him what was going on, was there anything else, that's when I found out he was vaping. And that's when we started to get a handle on his medical condition being able to treat his restrictive lung disease. What's surprising to me about this epidemic is that it hasn't happened sooner. With millions of people using these products in a completely unregulated environment, it seems that this was just a ticking time bomb ready to happen. Electronic cigarettes are a fatally flawed product. They really need to be removed out of the marketplace until they're fully regulated and tested by the government. So right now we have an open field where anything goes. People are playing Russian roulette with their bodies every time they purchase.